The sign is saying 20 miles an hour, but I'm not slowing down. I'm saying at 26 miles an hour, am I going to get a fine? Road signs give orders are normally in circles. A red circle means something you must not do. For example, speed limits or no overtaking. Here is a compulsory speed limit near a school. You must not exceed 20 miles an hour here until the road signs tell you it's changed. Here is an advisory speed limit. Notice the 20 is not in a red circle. When we have an advisory speed limit, we must assess the situation and ask ourselves the question, why is there an advisory speed limit here? Are there any hazards ahead? Only if we can confidently say to ourselves that there are no hazards ahead and it is safe to go above the advisory speed limit should we do so. If we're not sure, we should stick to the advisory speed limit. Here is an example of an advisory speed limit near a school. As we come along, we can see the sign telling us max 20 when lights show. Notice the 20 is not in a red circle, so it is not a law. However, we must assess the road and decide if it's advisable to do this speed. So, we first can think about the time of day. Currently, it is half past two. And we're looking to the side, to the footpaths and between the parked cars. There appear to be no children out at the moment, as, like I said, it's half past two, so children aren't out yet. So at the moment, I'm deciding to go over 20 miles an hour, to about 25 miles an hour on this stretch of road. The time is now 10 minutes past three. So you notice currently, I'm doing about 26, 27 miles an hour. But ahead of me, I can see some children looking to cross the road and also a sign telling me max speed 20 when lights show as I'm getting nearer school. So I'm using this information and slowing down to about 20 miles an hour as it is appropriate at the moment due to the children leaving school at the moment and they could be crossing the road. So I'm looking to my left here, look for anyone that could walk in front of this van, I'm looking to the right for any children that could be walking out from the silver van on the right as well. We will notice on this road, there are no signs saying max speed 20 when lights show. However, this does not mean it is safe to do 30 miles per hour. We need to assess the situation. The time is 10 minutes past 3. We can see quite a lot of children around. So we need to anticipate they could be crossing the road, perhaps walking out behind these vehicles coming up. As we pull away, we pull away of caution anticipating children walking out from behind the parked vehicles, looking underneath the parked vehicles for feet. Is there anyone standing there? Noticing the bus. Is there anyone crossing the road behind the bus? Yes, there's this young girl here crossing the road. And there was more children there as well looking to cross. We continue to see children. So we keep our speed low, about 20 miles an hour. Also, this is important as we can see brake lights ahead because the traffic is stopping. We can now see a sign advising us max 20 when lights show. As you can see, the lights are showing. We're going to choose to follow this advice as the time is 10 minutes past three and all the children are around. You can see this clearly on the video. So it's quite a high risk of a child running out in front of the car. We need to be reduced speed so we can easily stop if this happens. As we pass the school, we can see the traffic head starts to move away from us. However, we don't want to speed up yet as we've still got parked vehicles on the left. These are restricting view. Could there be a child standing behind the parked vehicle about to run in front of us? Now we can see the vision to the side has increased. We can clearly see there's no more children here. View ahead has also increased. So we increase our speed, getting to near the speed limit as it is now safe to do this. As we approach the roundabout, we're looking to turn left, first exit onto the motorway. As we look across the bridge, we can see traffic building up 
further down the motorway and blue lights. This could be from an accident. However, this is not going to cause us a problem is we're going to be ahead of this accident. As we turn left, we can see advisory speed limits of 50 miles per hour. As we come further around the corner, we can see the actual speed limit is national speed limit, which will be 70 miles per hour. So, 70 mile an hour speed limit, but it's advising us to do 50. As we come down the slip road, we can see ahead it's all clear. I'm currently sticking to the advisory speed limit of 50 miles per hour, as I'm not sure it's going to come from behind me, as I did see blue lights earlier. So I'm checking my mirrors, and it's all clear behind me. No emergency vehicles coming up fast. I now can't go any faster, as there's a vehicle in lane 2, and I must not overtake on the left. So I hold back, and move out to lane 2, and then I move into lane 3, to perform the overtake, getting up to 70 miles per hour which is perfectly legal here. Another advisory speed limit of 50 miles per hour here. I check ahead and check my mirrors and it's all clear. No reason to be slowing down to the advisory speed limit of 50 miles per hour. However, I'm careful not to overtake this vehicle, this white one, using the left lane. So when he brakes here, I break with him and stay behind him. Did you notice the signs above the slip road? Lane 2 was being asked to merge into lane 1. So perhaps there was an accident further down that slip road. Could this be why there's an advisory speed limit? As I turn off here, we can then see end. So this is now the end of the advisory speed limits. Notice the sign on the left. Maximum speed, 50 miles per hour for this bend. Generally, I find the advisory speed limits for the bend to be good advice. They're normally put there when you've been driving at high speed, such as 70 miles per hour on the motorway. As we take the exit off the motorway, we can see warning signs ahead for a sharp bend, with an advisory speed limit of 50 miles per hour. It's advisory as the 50 is not in a red circle. Best to follow this advice though, as again, quite a sharp bend with lots of sharp bend signs. Speed limit now changing back to national speed limit. As we enter the next motorway, we can see compulsory speed limits of 60 miles per hour, possibly due to the heavy traffic on the next motorway. Notice the roadwork signs. Could there be a speed limit change coming up? Could there be lane closures? More yellow roadwork signs. Notice the cones as well. Free recovery ahead. More roadwork signs. And a speed limit change down to 50 miles per hour. Notice it is in a red circle. So we must not go more than 50 miles per hour. When the council relays the road, to start with, the roads are full of loose stones that are going to flick up and scratch your car and cause a skid risk. However, the problem is the signs that warn you of this are often not taken down, even when the loose stones are gone and the road surface is in perfect condition. As the road surface is in perfect condition here, I ignore the 20 and carry on at normal speeds. Remember, no matter if it's an advisory speed limit or a compulsory speed limit, always look well ahead and anticipate why they might put the speed limit there. A question I often get asked about advisory speed limits is when do they end, as there are no signs telling you when the advisory speed limits end. Well, the advisory speed limit ends when you have passed the hazard the advisory speed limit is related to. So, if it's advised to do 20, because there's a school nearby, the speed limit ends when you have passed the immediate area and there are no more school children around. If it's for a bend, 
The advisory speed on the ends after you've got round the bend and the road straightens out and it's safe to build speed. With advisory speed limits, ultimately it's down to your judgement. You must assess the situation and ask yourself, why is there an advisory speed limit here? Do I need to be going slower? Is it appropriate to? Are the hazards around? Or does the advisory speed limit not apply at the moment? Is there a malfunction on the sign for example or has a hazard passed?